Hey, John here, coming from you from beautiful East Tennessee once again. I'm at a place here that's uh, shrouded in uh, fraud and deceit and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Um, I'm at what's known as Whirlwind Mansion or Whirlwind Manor. Uh, it's a 25,000 square foot mansion built in the early 70s by a man named Jake Butcher. This man was known around here as a wealthy banker, politician, stuff like that. He uh, built this place, like I said, in the early 70s, built it as a spare no expense mansion and, uh, you know, moved into it, lived in it, had parties, people over all the time. And uh, it was just a huge, wonderful mansion. Um, by the mid-80s, though, they discovered he was committing bank fraud. Really had no wealth of his own, anything like that. So he got busted and went to prison. The house was then, you know, went back to the bank and was abandoned. Um, early 90s, it was bought by an uh, investment company. They went in, tried to develop it into condominiums. Didn't quite work out. They ran out of money. It went back into foreclosure. It's been there ever since. So uh, we're going to take a walk around the property, take a look at it. Um, it is actually up for sale. So, I mean, if a door's open, we'll walk in, take a look. But I'm not going to force my way in somewhere like that. So uh, let's go take a look. We are walking through the gates. As you can see, this is a very well landscaped, beautiful home. Um... People have tried to break into it and steal wire and whatever appliances is left in it. Coming up here on the front of the house. Strange noises coming from over. As you can see, this house is starting to decay quite a bit. Not quite the palace it was back in the day. Butcher used to have parties here. All kinds of people coming in. It was actually rumored to have a solid gold toilet inside this house. But those, those rumors are not that true. I actually talked to someone who was here for a party back in the day. And uh, well, there's always a creepy chair sitting in there. They said, no, there was no gold toilet. However, there was gold coins embedded into a toilet seat. Interesting, but still need to know. So the gold toilet rumor, not true, but there was gold coins embedded into a toilet seat. He was a very eccentric man. Wanted to live lavishly on other people's money. So, uh, didn't work out quite well for him in the end. Coming around the side here where the pool and outdoor area is. This place has a detached seven car garage. And so far that I've seen three garages built in with the house. One of the reasons no one ever would purchase the home is because it, uh, they estimated to cost for anywhere from twenty five or ten to twenty five thousand dollars a month for utilities and to maintain this home. So that's a lot of money. This was the outside area. You can imagine kitchen area over there. All the parties they had here, people partying their heads off. Interesting. We'll check that out shortly. Walk around the pool here, see the cover sunk in quite a bit. Would not want to fall down into that. Neat little outdoor kitchen area. Take a peek over here and see what's going on. This would be where they'd prepare cookouts and things of that nature. Check this out. 
charcoal still in the grill. Perhaps from one of the parties they had back in the late 70s, early 80s. Or maybe squatters out here trying to cook them a meal. Who knows? I know I shouldn't, but I can't help but take a peek inside and see what's going on here. strong flashlight on me wow this place is in worse shape than we thought this must have been where they was developing one of the condos hello all the flooring's gone in here Yes, it's really neat. Massive fireplace. Obviously part of the decor on its dome probably had marble, something of that nature. Grand area, the grand staircase. This was some house back in the day. This keeps going. Someone's in enjoying a beer. I'll check this out. Big piece of artwork still here. Probably remnants of Mr. Butcher. Nice architecture work down in here. Marble decor. Now this is really cool here. The big bar area. Hanging out here, having a cigar. The turlet. Check out what's over here. Man, I'm just amazed at how much this house just keeps going and going and going. Hello? or master suite perhaps oh no, that's creepy should I heed the warning and get out always afraid of walking up on somebody Places like this. So many bedrooms and different things going on here. Looking at this, a few weeks ago I read an article where a couple broke into here and it was a case of wrong time, wrong day, wrong place. They uh, come in to steal some of these appliances, and uh, the local authorities here use this place as SWAT training. So, happened to be the day they were using it, 
and they come in on them trying to take off with furniture and uh, did not work out too well for them. Let's hope uh, no one gets mad at me for walking around in here. Take a walk up this staircase and see what going on up here. Stairs feel pretty sturdy. Chandelier made out of crystal. Closet. Sorry about that. Hello? Just exploring. There are gloves in the floor. This is the part of the house that was converted into condominiums. Don't really know what it was before, but it's just two or three bedroom condominiums separated out throughout the house. You can see not a whole lot to them. Came back outside, I heard some movement around upstairs. I don't know if it's an animal or squatters or what, but there was blood in the floor and I didn't want to take any more risks up there. So I came on back down and uh, I'm going to look a little bit more around the outside of the property and then that'll probably be it for the day. Coming up on an interesting looking part here. Take a look and see what we got going on. Appears to be some sort of entrance maybe to the basement. Unsure. Doesn't look like somewhere I want to tread right now. Being by myself, anyways. When I get someone talked into coming out here with me, then we'll uh, we'll get a little more into it. Here we have the tennis court. You can see it's overgrown and the net's falling down. Old basketball goal right there. Just not quite the place it once was. It's really sad when you think about it. Place of this magnitude, this size, just gone to waste. No one will buy it, no one will live in it. Like I said earlier, it's actually on the market. If you want to take the challenge on, for about a million dollars, you can own this bad boy. Another little fun fact about this place. It was actually modeled and designed after the house from Gone with the Wind. So if you uh, have ever seen that movie, they say this house was is very similar to that, especially along the back here. So haven't seen it, I'm not sure, but sounds pretty interesting. Look around the mold growing up the corner, the rotting wood around the windows. This house would need a lot of TLC to really be livable again. Porch swings. Just falling apart. I didn't get a chance to take any photos of the inside because of what I heard moving around. At least out here, if I wanna make a mad dash to the car, I've got an opportunity to. Missing the column here. Lots of hornet's nests and things going on up there. Cool looking balcony. I was almost to where that is and that's where I started hearing somebody move around or something. Even if it's a wild animal, I still don't wanna come across that so 
I believe that's going to be it. Um, we'll take a look at that seven car garage before we go. We're on the far side of this place here. You see all the weeds growing up in the, in the gutters and the roof. Roof's rusting away. It won't be much longer before this place will start leaking inside and it'll really start to fall down then. Looks like that's a gateway to the dungeon or a portal to hell or something. We walk around the corner here. One little neat part of this place, this property comes with its own lake and it's actually named Butcher Lake. It's pretty interesting. He commits all that bank fraud and felonies and goes to prison and still gets the lake named after him. Interesting little shed here. Look like a whole lot to it. The empty little building. All this parking space for guests and other people. I'd say old Butcher had quite a few cars sitting in these garages. I'm not even going to try to open one. This is where that couple I actually parked in one of these to hide their car and broke in. And as is inside, as when the SWAT team came and busted them. Not a very good day, but it is kind of ironic. Well, guys, we're going to close at this point. I thank you for watching. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep trying to do these awesome places. Not only abandoned places, but I want to go do, uh, you know, interesting places. There's a couple spots I want to hit up. Um, we're going to do a tour of some neat little backwoods towns, stuff like that. Uh, please subscribe. Please keep watching, and uh, we'll get some better and better videos going as we go. And uh, again, I thank you for watching, and uh, have a blessed day. Bye.